Hi everyone, it's Blake again with Northwinds Wilderness School. Welcome back. Uh, for those of you who follow us closely, you may recognize behind us the yurt that we're going to be caretaking for the time being. Um, what we're going to do right now is a very, very quick how to take it down, how to put it back up. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to go, so I guess we're just going to figure it out. Um, let's go see how it goes. All right, here's the yurt before we really do anything to it. We've already removed the smokestack from the wood stove and we pulled off the Velcro windows and closed the window flaps. There's one of the windows. The next step is going to be to get that plastic dome down. Let's see how it goes. Yes. We're lowering the dome now. That's uh, the starting point of disassembling this. Here it comes. So I. Okay, we're done with that. Okay. We're off. So the next step is just to remove the top canvas. There's these toggle locks here. And then underneath here is a rope that goes all the way around. All right, so we got all those clips off all the way around. You can see we've loosened the edge of the roof all the way around. Now with me up here, Brett on that side, and Greg on this side, we're gonna slide the roof off from right to left. Ideally, this should work. Are you ready, Brett? There it is. There it is. Now we just have to get this insulation. Blank? Blank? This part seems to be connected to something. All right, that's what it looks like with the roof off. Inner layer, insulation layer, outer waterproof layer. Now we're just gonna fold these up. And then, I don't know what we'll do next. Take down the dome lid. This is what the inside looks like without the top on. So these little zigzaggy cables here are called snow load cables. Those need to come out. This is the door. This door frame holds the walls on, so we need to get the door frame off. I think that's gonna be the next step, is removing the door frame. Um, to remove the walls, and then we'll start taking out the snow load cables. So right now we're removing all the vertical supports for the rafters. And the snow load cable. Oh well. It shifted that time, that's for sure. Yeah, maybe take this one off next. Like kind of go opposite sides each time. Just in case. 
So you can see we've got almost all the rafters out. We're gonna take out all but three and then carefully lower down that center ring. And then it's just take down the walls and we're basically home free. All right, you can see we're down to three rafters and the center ring. We're gonna put a ladder at each rafter and we're each gonna climb up a ladder. We're gonna lift these rafters off and lower this ring down. It feels a little sketchy, but I think we'll be okay. All right, we got the roof down successfully. Dustin showed up just in the nick of time to save us. Now we're just gonna take down the walls and then we're pretty much home free. All right, you can see we've got the fabric walls off. I just pulled out about 900 screws that were six inches off the ground, so that was super fun. What we're gonna do now is remove this door frame. And then I think the next step is to take out the cable. We got the cable out, we got all the screws out. Now it's just a matter of shrinking the wall. I forgot to film this morning. We got up and took the plywood rim off the outside. The rim basically hides the frame underneath and helps hold the walls of the yurt in place. And then we moved the wood stove and the base that it was sitting on. It's raining a little bit, that's why there's tarps on the base. <laughs> this is us taking apart the decking. You can see right here where Atreyu broke the wall. It's probably a thousand dollar mistake right there. Yep, a tray you did that. All right, we're almost done getting the foundation apart. We cut through our one troublesome screw, and now it's just going to be a matter of disassembling decking and loading everything into that trailer. Now we've gotten all of the flooring off. Now we just have to take this floor frame apart and get the insulation out and then we can load the truck. All right guys, we're almost there. This is all that's left. Most of it's in the truck. Now it's just a matter of getting these last couple pieces apart. I just backed this stupid giant trailer through a stupid little dirt road and it only took four people to help me. All right, everyone. Most of the yurt is moved to its new home at our North Winds Wilderness School campus in Grantsburg, Wisconsin. Um, unfortunately, there were a dozen or so pieces that wouldn't fit in this trailer I rented. So I now have to get an even bigger trailer and go back, but that's all right. Gives me an excuse to see Dustin and Alexis and Charlotte uh, and Brett, sorry. Um, it was a lot of work, but we learned a lot. It was super fun. Um, we probably got to enjoy the last couple hot days of summer outside. So from here, the next step will be putting it back together. We will also make a video of putting it back together. That video will probably be a little longer. It'll probably be a little more detailed. This video was as much for us as it was for you so that we have something to look back on so that we can do the process in reverse when we put it back together. For all of you who are considering taking classes with us, coming to our immersion program, coming to any of our camps. This will be here for you to see. Hopefully by mid-October we'll have it up and then through spring next summer and into the foreseeable future it'll be here. Um, we don't exactly know what it's gonna be for now. Um, we know we'll be staying in it when we're hunting or when we're out here camping or if we're just out here staying for a while. Um, we know we'll be staying in it if we, when we have big camps with 20, 30, 40 um, participants. But for our smaller or more primitive camps, it may just be here, who knows. If you have any suggestions or if you liked this video, if you learned anything from the video, please let us know in the comments. Um, if you found any value in this, find a friend to share it with. Or um, 
if you really like what we're doing, maybe go check us out on Patreon. Um, viewers like you who support our mission are the reason we can do these things. So thank you all very much. Have a great afternoon. See you next time.